the first ingredient in the Protect formula, the first place I had to think is, well, what's the number one killer? In my clinic, I had to look at what people came in. I had to look at what's going to kill my patient. And I got to put up blocks and help them not die from this. And the main thing that was going to kill my patients is what's killing every American is heart attack, stroke, circulatory disease, arterial disease, disease of the circu circulation, blockage of the circulation. And there's an herb that has been famous for hundreds of years, for thousands in China, for hundreds in Europe, and for a few hundred in America, an amazing herb for the heart, and it's hawthorn. And it's hawthorn berries was used originally, but now we use the leaf and the flower. And here's the magic of hawthorn that I found in one study that I researched many years ago in the clinic. And basically it was a horrible study of torturing animals, which you know we have vegan products, we never torture animals, we do try to force our products on animals, but only if they volunteer. And um, they took a number of dogs in China and put valves, shut off valves in their coronary arteries and then slowly turned the blood flow to their heart off until they had heart attacks and then revived them afterwards. What a horrible thing. Who would do that? Anyway, here was what they discovered. That when these dogs were revived and the blood flow was turned back onto their heart, that their heart was damaged severely. It was scarred and it was hurt because when you shut the blood and oxygen off to any organ of the body, whether it be the brain, the heart, the kidney, the finger, it doesn't matter, that area dies. Cells die within a few minutes without blood and oxygen. Then they gave all these dogs hawthorn and repeated the test. And they discovered two main things when they repeated this test. One is that the dogs didn't have heart attacks when they did without the hawthorn. In fact, the dog's heart could survive on much less blood and oxygen for a much longer period of time than it could without the hawthorn. And it took a complete shutoff of the valve to give the dog a heart attack. So one of the things we know about hawthorn is that the phytochemicals, the plant chemicals in hawthorn, bind to and protect your heart cells and allow your heart cells to survive and thrive with less blood and oxygen. And if you know any old farts or any young farts in this country, relatives and loved ones, you'll see that they're being starved for blood because of what's built up in their arteries. The actual diameter of their pipes is smaller. And even if their pipes are good, their blood is so thick with fat from the American Food Program, their heart is starved for blood and oxygen. So one of the things we know about Hawthorne is to let the heart survive on less blood and oxygen. The second thing they discovered when they turned the blood flow back on is that these dogs didn't have any heart damage. It was miraculous. So now we know another thing about Hawthorne. When Hawthorne is present, and all those beautiful phytochemicals, like flavonoids, are in the heart and the heart cells, the heart can survive on a lot less blood, on a lot less oxygen before it's damaged. And if you do have a heart attack, or you do have a stroke, or you do have something that would normally scar you, these chemicals won't let your heart scar itself. This is beautiful information. It's information that we should have everybody we know on a formula that could protect them from the number one killer in America. How much of this I can say out loud in magazines or on the internet, I don't know. But this is the reality of what this one herb does. It's magical. And that's the foundation of the Protect formula. It's for the number one killer in America. Heart disease, circulatory disease, heart attacks, strokes, arterial sclerosis, atherosclerosis, any disease of the heart, arteries, brain, blood flow. That's number one. 
The number two way my patients were dying was cancer. If you talk to any great oncologist, cancer specialist, cancer researcher, they will tell you that what causes cancer in the human body is poisons, toxins, chemicals that our body can't handle and can't deal with and can't filter out. Filter is the key word here because it's our liver's job to neutralize, render harmless, and filter out all the chemicals that come into our body through our mouth, through our nose, through our skin, everything in our food, air, water, and the earth that could give us cancer, from additives and preservatives to paints to toxic chemicals. They say that the new car smell is over a thousand different carcinogenic chemicals. We should be buying used cars. <laughs> um, we're inundated. They're in our water. It's in the water. PCBs from the old transformers are in the water all over the world now. We can't get away from it. Well, there's an herb like hawthorn that binds and coats to the liver cells. That the herbs, the, the phytochemicals in this herb, bind to and coat the liver cells and protect your liver from death and damage due to these chemicals and keep your liver working to filter out these chemicals, therefore prevent or hold off your cells from mutating and becoming carcinogenic. Now any good oncologist will also tell you that we all have cancer in our body every day, but we also have an immune system that eats it up. But when your immune system gets run down and your body gets overloaded with these chemicals, you develop cancer and your liver getting weak and bombarded and overloaded and not being able to do its job is the beginning. In fact, any great oncologist will tell you that cancer starts with a weak liver. Cancer starts with a weak liver because that's your chemical filter, friends. That's what's going to filter all these carcinogenic poisons that are in our food, water, air, earth, and environment and keep them from getting into our body is by your liver continuing to work. Milk thistle, and specifically the seeds and the juice from milk thistle, has been discovered to bind and coat to and protect your liver cells and keep them from damage and keep them from dying. And if your liver stays healthy, you won't ever get cancer. I don't care how bad of a family history you have. And so this is our liver protector, and this is my protection herb against carcinogenic diseases. Now, certainly I want all my patients and friends and relatives and customers to never eat anything that's carcinogenic, never touch a French fry. In fact, I just read recently that any cooked grain like bread, they're starting to say is carcinogenic. Never use plastic, don't wear any clothes, don't breathe, don't eat. <laughs> shit many times a day, get the hell out of Dodge and move to a hundred miles south of Tahiti. Um, but we all know that isn't going to happen for us or anybody else, at least right now. And so while we're growing organically and cleaning up this environment and stopping the chemical onslaught and moving into our raw food program and all of these wonderful things and moving more and having a better attitude because we know that a bad attitude can cause cancer as fast as a popsicle. We need to do something. And one of the things we need to do is protect our liver. And that's why there's milk thistle in the formula. As I mentioned earlier, the other thing that was taking out my patients, if they were able to dodge the bullet of heart and circulatory disease and dodge the bullet of cancer and were able to get old enough, they couldn't remember why they were even there anymore. They were losing their memory. They were forgetting who they were. And of course, I saw lots of Alzheimer's disease in my clinic, lots of dementia, lots of, lots of what we would just call advanced forgetfulness and advanced memory loss and lots of depression and lots of clinical depression where people were just so 
locked up. They couldn't move. They couldn't talk anymore. And lots of problems with people's eyesight and hearing as they got older. And the main reason for that was because they lacked the blood and oxygen flow to their brain. They weren't getting enough circulation to their head. And one of the greatest herbs to get circulation to your head is ginkgo biloba. And of course, that's the foundation of the brain tonic, as milk thistle is the foundation of the liver tonic, as hawthorn is the foundation of the heart tonic. But now we're talking about protecting people. So that's why I brought the hawthorn in from the heart tonic, the milk thistle in from the liver tonic, and now the ginkgo in from the brain tonic. To stop my patients from getting dementia, Ginkgo increases blood and oxygen flow to the brain, so much so that the AMA has even said that it reverses brain diseases like Alzheimer's and senility and improves the function and cognitive function of people that have already been affected with these diseases. It's a power herb, a power medicinal drug for the brain improving the circulation, bringing in the blood and the oxygen. And you know what happens? I saw Alzheimer's disease turn around. I saw dementia turn around. I saw people that were depressed become almost manic like me. I saw people that were anxious, their anxiety went away. It's an amazing herb. And so this was the third herb I added in to help people who were dodging the bullets of heart disease and cancer to dodge the bullet of senility and aging and depression and anxiety and all the things that happen when you don't get enough blood to your brain. I'd love to think of my brain as a mystical organ that's just gases and something like the beginning of the twilight zone with the phone booth and the door flying. But the reality is, is when I took my first brain out of a human body and held it in my hands, that whole myth exploded. And I realized my brain was a hunk of meat and like any hunk of meat in my body, it's only going to work as good as the quality of the blood that gets to it and the ability of those cells to eliminate waste to get the poop out of my head. That's the bottom line with every cell in your body. Nutrition in, oxygen in, waste out. And I realized that's what ginkgo does. And that makes your brain healthier and better. Now, sure, I want to add in all the other programs. Get your bowel clean, because that's where it's all going to end up. Do you know that almost in every autopsy I've seen, whether it was a patient or a relative of a patient or somebody with a brain disease, it always on the pathology report reports that there's a lot of goo in the head. Now, we can put a thousand names to it and call it metabolites or metabolic fluid or whatever, but a lot of yellow cottage cheese snotty goo in the head. And that's what's there because you're not getting enough nutrition in and you're not getting that waste out. And ginkgo gets the nutrition in and the waste out. If your liver looks like that, it gets funky. Any organ starts getting congested with waste matter, it doesn't work. So now we have the top three for heart disease, cancer, and senility, dementia, depression, anxiety, getting that brain working. I also added to the PROTECT formula what I call my botanical antioxidant compound, which is three vitamins, beta carotene or vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin A. And those are the three top antioxidant compounds known to man, but we don't isolate them, as you know, our beta carotene and our um, vitamin E come from palm, fruit and our vitamin C from acerola cherry. Therefore, they include everything else that's with that that's important to have in your body. There's only one substance the American Cancer Society has ever said reduces your risk of cancer, therefore prevents cancer, therefore probably heals it, and it's beta carotene. And did those people take beta carotene? Absolutely not. They ate fruits and vegetables. And that's why the beta carotene and protect comes from fruits and vegetables. So it contains all the other carotenoids and all the other substances that people, the researchers, didn't find. The vitamin C, one of our greatest antioxidants known. And the vitamin E, all the vitamin E on the market is just tocopherol or synthetic tocopherols. Most all the vitamin E came from company. 
part of the film industry. It was horrible rancid oils. In fact, they still hold the market on this industry. And it only was a little piece called tocopherols, but not the tocotrienols, which we use. And the reason we use them is because that's what's in food. That's what's in the plants. In fact, the vitamin E that we use is not really vitamin E. We're just putting palm fruit in. But the palm fruit is so high in vitamin E. And when you look it up, it exactly mirrors the balance of vitamin E substances that are in food. Why? Because it's a food. And why antioxidants? Because antioxidants reverse aging and all the effects. We hear about free radicals, why they're so bad, why french fries are bad, why trans fatty acids are so bad that now everybody's taking them out of junk food. All they need to do is now take the rest of the food out of junk food, take the junk out of food. Um, but it's because of the free radicals and free radicals kill your cells. They damage your body. And what antioxidants do is kill the free radicals. You need as much antioxidants as your body as possible. They reverse aging, protect you from disease, and reverse disease. And the other compound that I put is what I call my circulation compound which is the other herb that's the fastest at getting blood to your extremities, which is cayenne. So it works for both the heart, the liver, and the head to assist the hawthorn, the milk thistle, and the ginkgo. And the other greatest circulation herb I know, which is ginger, which goes to your extremities and brings the blood back. And I want to tell you, I know these herbs are so great because they sell them in every ski resort now as powder to take or to put in your ski boots to stop you from getting circulatory problems while you're skiing or getting frostbite because they increase your circulation. If you doubt it, eat a hot pepper. Your face turns red. That's blood. That's increasing your circulation. So I add habaneros, the hottest cayenne we know, ginger, and garlic, which clears your blood, thins your blood, and helps your blood get around. And I call it my circulation complex. So there you have the protect formula to protect you from heart attacks, stroke, circulatory disease, to protect you from cancer, to protect you from dementia and senility and Alzheimer's disease and loss of hearing and eyesight that comes with aging, to protect you from aging, to protect you from free radicals that kill your cells and kill you, and to increase the circulation all over your body because if you go in the bathroom, you see that blockage is the cause of all disease, my friends. And that's really what this formula is. Is it a miracle? Well, in the sense that it buys you time, yes. Okay? Because I consider that a miracle. Because when you know you got 10 breaths left, wow, does that feel weird. And I've been there. And a few of, in this, a few of you in this room have been there. And let me tell you, that is a wake-up call, okay? We all know we're going to die, but we don't think about it. But when that moment comes, holy shit, you will do anything. What this formula does is keep that moment from coming longer to anyone that will just put it in their mouth. One capsule in the morning, one capsule at night to protect you from all those horrors that I talked about. Two capsules in the morning, two at night for maximum protection. Now, would I like you to follow this formula up with some advice to your friends and loved ones? Absolutely. What do I always say is the cure for all diseases known? Stop doing what you're doing that's making you sick, that caused your disease, and start doing new things that will create powerful health. So yeah, I want you to add it up with the 10,000 things that we know. I want you to follow it up with the 10,000 things that we know that will also 
prevent heart attacks and stroke and cancer and dementia and depression and cells from dying and old age. But if you can only do one thing, and I have friends and relatives that I only got one shot, okay? I only got one shot. This is my first shot. This is what I'm going to use first. Get it in their mouth and get those chemicals in their body protecting their heart cells, protecting their liver cells, protecting their brain, fighting off the damage from their lifestyle and protecting them. So anyway, thank you for being here, for making this possible, and, and most of all, making the whole thing possible.